Good morning prospectors and welcome to another Cycle Frontier video. This is going to be the 10 worst ways to die while on the planet and how to avoid them. Number one is going to be dying after looting the planet to players camping your evac ship. You absolutely need to wait to get onto that ship until the last possible moment. The best way to avoid this is going to be waiting for that purple bar to be about halfway through before you run and jump on that ship. Remember, it's going to take you with it off the planet with all of your loot, even at the final second and even just past that. So do not run to that ship until it's ready to leave with you on it. Next up, we've got dying to the environment. A horrible way to go, and this is mostly going to be for my newer players. Here, I actually get killed by a meteor because I didn't understand that the meteors kept falling. I thought it was just going to be one. Make sure you're getting insurance every time you go planet side. That way, you can always have your loot back or enough money to cover the costs. Next up, we've got falling to death. This is going to be breaking those ankles. And this one is also very easy to avoid after you've got some playtime under your belt. You just want to make sure you're watching yourself and trying to avoid those big cliffs or for my jungle high danger players. It's going to be paying attention to pitfalls and falling off of trees and rocks while you've got Jeffries and Striders on your back. Number four, you're winning a PVP fight and Jeff decides your soul should leave its body. You have to be insanely careful out there in those very dangerous areas like the jungle and try to always be on top of something like a rock or a ledge so the Striders and Jeffs cannot kill you with their melee attacks. Number five, you land on the planet fresh out of your drop pod and the Chad has chosen you for his next YouTube highlight video. Dying out of your drop pod is one of the worst feelings in the game, and so you have to think and outthink your opponents. Rather than going directly to a point of interest out of your drop pod, you should scout the area or take a route that's less traveled. Players are going to see you dropping in, and some of them are only out there for those sweet PvP victories. Be careful, prospectors. Number six, disconnecting from the game for no apparent reason. This one is absolutely unavoidable. They are fixing it right now, but it hurts very badly. You see, I lost an entire set of purple. No way, we just lost everything? That was like hours worth of grinding. I'm, I'm not joking, that took hours for me to get all that. But the key thing to note here, again, is that I did not ensure my gear. Make sure before you go planet side, you are always insuring with K marks at the minimum and making sure you're insuring your legendaries and exotics with Aurum. Number seven, the classic attempt to reset a PvP fight, but a pack of roaming striders, especially an elite strider, decides to send you back to Prospector Station. Again, you have to be very very careful around the aliens. You have to factor that into your PvP and ensure that you're always climbing on ledges and that you have enough stamina to get away. A big play here, especially for my solo and duo players and my rats, is to wear tactical equipment that's going to be increasing your stamina output to allow you to sprint away from PvP fights and away from aliens and give you the chance to climb and escape. Because remember, Escaping from a fight is always a win. Number eight, you would love to loot a locked room. I'm talking about those armories, the skeleton key rooms, something that you're excited to get to and you know it's going to be full of precious loot, but a squad of W keying gray boomstick trench gunners would rather loot you. This one is very hard to avoid. But keep in mind, these players are waiting. These are your rats, and they're waiting at these rooms. They're hanging out in dark caves, waiting for you to come mine. And the way to counterplay this is to realize that they're there around these locked rooms. Scout it out. Put some flashlights on your gun. 
and see if there's any enemies there because these players are very vulnerable to grenades. They're in tight spaces. And with grenades, even a solo player can kill a duo and a trio. Number nine, the classic how moment. When you are evaporated by an IRL sniper squad that just tasted the wind direction and the speed before counting down from three to three, two, one, delete you. This one is going to be very, very hard to avoid. Some of the players in this game are crack shots and they're in Discord and they've got comms. And the only way to outplay this one is to also have a sniper rifle. Running a sniper rifle and another gun is an incredible way to give yourself an advantage and to take a look around at the environments. There is so much room for outplay in this game. The skill ceiling is through the roof. You need to be using your binoculars or a sniper rifle to look for enemy snipers. Do not just run out in the open. Always be running with your knife out, bobbing and weaving from left to right, and dodging between trees, rocks, and using the environment to your advantage. You can go an entire match without seeing other players, or you could be evaporated in a second. You've got to be paying attention out there, prospectors. Some players would rather kill you and get your loot than loot the map. You've got your hunters, your prospectors, and your rats. Last but not least, the worst way to go in the cycle frontier like so many other full loot games is having a teammate kill you. I wonder if that's how much knife damage does. Ow! Wow, dude, that did 60% with blue armor? <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry! This game gives you such a beautiful opportunity to avoid this one. You have a blue outline when you're with your teammates, but you've got some Escape from Tarkov level TKers, and they left click faster than Billy the Kid could draw his six shooter. And so the only way to avoid this one is to go in with teammates you trust, or if you're with known team killers and your friends who just aren't quite on par with your skill level, is just to go in and have fun. Wear gray gear, don't worry about it. As long as you kill an enemy who's in green or higher gear, it's always gonna be a come up. You can go onto planet with almost nothing and come out with 50 to 75,000 in K Mark loot. So just go out there and have fun once in a while, downgrade your gear, and enjoy yourselves. It's a beautiful planet. I hope you enjoyed these 10 worst ways to go and ways to counterplay it. I'll see you all next time. Good luck escaping, evacuating, and profiting. Make sure you tune in next time for an advanced guide on how to make an absolute ton of K marks per run and find some beautiful exotics. I'll catch you for another Cycle Frontier video.